going on my walk for my training for the marathon. And these guys are not. And because she be comes sorry. out like five in the morning. It's not five in the morning. It's like nine thirty. She's trying to blame it on us. Look at the mess they have in the front room. I'm perfect. Thank you, honey. You better have this clean when I get home. Bye, Lodi. Yuppie, yuppie. Bratsy, bratsies. No, Drew's coming. So yeah, where is he? Where's Drew? Get out of here for Woo! Look at Drew! Dude is in his booty shorts. Woo! You sure you don't want to come? Yeah, we don't want to come. Get out! Ooh, how's that looking? Ooh, look at that. Get out! Chubby, chubby. Okay. Where'd he go? In the back. Wrong way, Willie. Bye. Is he bothered? I don't know. Okay, so I'm going on my walk. I'm going to tape for a minute and then I'm going to tape at the pool today. <laughs> Get my husband in shorts. Ooh, construction. Anyway. And, um, been feeling pretty good for the most part, I guess. Just normal life stuff. You know, you have your ups and your downs, and, um, definitely leaning more into the panic and try not to run away from it um it'll catch me out of the blue it did on and off last night a little bit but not not anything too severe like i said um so you know it's just life the stress still not working been on some job interviews I haven't uh nothing always overqualified and anyway I just I apply for everything and it doesn't matter to me <laughs> if I'm overqualified I don't know it's they should be happy they, that means that I would be fully capable right they think I get bored I've heard that like four or five times now and it gets discouraging so then I apply for you know, the more stressful job, of course. So, anyway, we'll see. Yada, yada, yada. But it's a beautiful day in Oregon. Do you see those guys? There's not like one cloud in them. It is wonderful. And uh, just training for the marathon. I haven't really picked one out yet. My goodness, we have a Portland marathon going on. I think this is October. I don't remember, but $139. Woo! Anyway, so, and that's way too long for the family. It's like 25.6 miles or something. And I'm thinking to start out like a 5K or 10K at the very most with the family. As you can see, my kids didn't come with me today. They went on the last few. I need to make it more regular. I'm wearing better shoes now. So I won't have the huge blisters like I had. But, uh, yeah. So the panic, um, it's not taking over my life. And I am still reading. I'm reading that book, uh, oh my gosh, When Panic Attacks. And I am really feeling that, uh, Taking uh, books and making them your own is key. It's key. It's the mind. Uh, it's not any pills you could take. Nothing like that, as I said before, it is completely in your mind and getting yourself um, oh gosh, strong uh, mentally, physically. Um, everything in between definitely it mind over matter for sure and you know if you're not feeling things in your body you're dead right so all the little things I feel and this new symptom that I have with the feeling like I'm choking ah, so frustrating um, I know I've had acid reflux for years and 
different things, but I really think this is completely associated with my panic and anxiety disorder, Crudola. So, I just keep not rushing, you know, but I find myself chewing my food like 50 times before I swallow, although it could be good for the weight loss, but not for my jaw. Anyway, I'm going to listen to some music. I'll take more at the pool. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>